Welcome back to the Boiler Studio. My name is Richard Firth. We've got the next bite size tutorial for you in the how to's. Last time we did how to check the Hall Effect sensor. I'm going to pass you over to Roy for the next installment. Hi guys, welcome back to the Viva Train Academy over in Halifax. And today what we're going to be doing is having a look at removing and checking certain components, certain uh, sections of a boiler. For instance, today we're going to be having a look at removing the air gas unit and checking the burner seal and the burner. This is something that you would do perhaps on a routine service if it needed to be stripped out and cleaned. We'll show you how to check the seal on there and things like that. I've already got the front removed off the boiler and I've already got the boiler isolated. We've worked on this boiler on a few other videos so you know there's just two screws to remove it. It's isolated so we have carried out safe isolation um, as per the video that we've done on safe isolation. So TB118, your gas safe technical bulletin, it's always about always working safely and uh, making sure that we all go home on an evening. So I'm just going to pop the front down. On this particular boiler, we've got a, a silencer there, which is attached onto the fan. So we need to remove that silencer. Um, it's just held in by one um, self-tapping screw. So we're just going to pop that screw out. So that screw pops out. And then that silencer just eases off the end of the fan and we can pop that to one side. We're going to remove the uh, HT lead from the electrode. So we're just going to pop that off, leave that hanging loose, and then the earth connection. So because the burner module is connected onto the fan, we also need to remove the mains plug on the fan. So we're just going to unplug that. And then just round the corner, we have a little earth lead. So we just need to pop that one off. and then the low voltage plug. So that's now removed the electrics away from the fan. So the next stage is disconnecting the fan from the gas valve. Now there's two alternatives. One, we've got a little clip which we can pop out and then pull the flexi tube away from it. Or the other one, we can disconnect the nut on the top of the uh, gas valve. My preference is unplugging the little clip so I'm just going to pull the little clip out so that pops out and then I can now ease that tube out there and with it being flexible like your anacondas on your gas meters we can just bend it slightly out the way. We've then got four 10 millimeter nuts that we need to remove. Now I use a 10 mil socket uh, driver because it's easier. You could use a spanner, you could use a socket set, whichever you find easy, whatever tools you've got. So I'm just going to undo these. Now, I get asked a lot by engineers, do we need torque wrenches when we're tightening these things back up? Well, in the factory, when the boilers are put together, yes, the manufacturers will use torque settings. How, having said that, out in the field, I've never used a torque wrench. I use the good old trusted method as hand tight and a nip. So as soon as I get tight, I don't overstress it. So I'm just slackening the two top nuts off now. Once I get these two off, the air gas unit will pop out. As you can see, it's, it's come slightly forward with the bottom nuts off because we're still onto the top two studs. It's not going to fall off. It will just sit there. Now, this particular um, air gas unit has only got one electrode in. It does both spark and sense. So we're just going to pop that off now. And what we're looking at is we're looking at the burner seal. So this seal here, it sits into a recess and it's got a little flap on it. So the idea is that flap, it takes up any expansion and contraction between the difference between the aluminium um, cover and the stainless steel heat exchanger. One thing not to do is touch the burner. The idea behind that is not as some people think that the burner is going to corrode, but more that we have oils in our fingers. And if we're working on the boiler without wearing gloves, because I know some guys wear uh, safety gloves, um, we can get the oils into the small openings on the burner. What that can cause is slightly different flame pictures. 
which then can cause premature wear on the burner. So the random factors always recommend don't go grabbing the burners. All you need to do to clean that is just dust it off with a soft bristle brush, something like an old paintbrush or buy yourself a cheap new paintbrush so it's not got any paint on, then you can clean that off. So this seal, if I'm inspecting that, I'm looking to make sure that it's not showing any signs of distress, it's not starting to show any signs of wear. Normally on these black seals, what you'll find is if they start showing signs of distress, they start to go grey. Um, what's happening there is the, there's excessive heat and that's what's causing that problem. Another quick test that you can do to make sure that that's still elastic enough, just tip, the burn, tip it upside down, tap it. And if that seal stays in place, we know that that's okay. Now we're into the uh, combustion chamber. We could clean that out if we needed to. Um, on a service, we may need to clean that and we'll look at that on a future video.